please welcome the heartthrob of millions of cricketing fans around the world, the current captain of the Nepali cricket team, Mr. Paras Khadka. Paras, I welcome to the show. How's it going, like? Thank you for finding time. Is your mic, mic? Can we just have a check with your mic? Hello? Is, yes. Can check one, me? check two. We're checking mic with the captain, and the mic is fine. So that means we're not going to waste any precious words that come out of the captain. First things first. I have to ask you this. Uh, a couple of months ago, say uh, newspapers, my articles for Nepal, go to Cricket Association of Nepal relieved you of your captaincy duties. Uh, we Nepali cricketing fans did not believe it, but we had to wait and see. And you did go on to captain the side in the ICC World Cricket League Division Two. What was all that about? Uh, I mean, basically, like uh, it was a surprise for me as uh -huh. well. Like I woke up at six o'clock. A friend of mine right. uh, called me up saying, like he heard it over the radio. He was I don't know going for a morning walk or a jog, and he called me up and saying, like there's this news that you know going around that you have been. Uh, uh, Sacked as a captain on right. disciplinary uh -huh. grounds, uh -huh. and then I was like, uh, I was taken aback because I really didn't have any idea about it. Right. Then I just flipped through a certain newspapers, and not many newspapers had covered it. There was just this one leading newspaper that had covered up the right. story. And then after half an hour, I got a call from the CEO, like saying, even she was surprised. Like, she <laughs> had no idea as to what was happening. And then later on, after hour, hour and a half, I talked to the president of Cricket Association uh -huh. in Nepal, and he himself had no idea. Wow. So basically, it was uh, one daily newspaper, right, which had uh, printed the news, like well, front page. Well, that's very sad, isn't it? Yeah. Personally, it uh, more than me, it affected my friends and family. Right. I mean, it affected me as well in a way where, you know, my, because, see, I mean, I have dedicated my life towards cricket. Mm -hmm. And I mean, for me to become a captain or not as a captain, I think it's up to Cricket Association in Nepal. Of course. I, I will not be the captain of the mm -hmm. Nepal cricket team forever. Right. I was a player once. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm the captain and moving forward, like as long as I keep performing, my performance has to be the biggest base for me right. to, you know, like right. retain my place. So, a lot of controversies that have surrounded Nepal cricket. Not only this, I mean, this uh, issue was escalated to, you know, unwanted uh, territory. Right, right. Uh, was, then, Yeah, was. I mean, and as a team and as a, as a player, I mean, I felt bad because, I mean, I was, I've always been very, very honest and I've, I've been outspoken as to how cricket needs to go forward. The tricks of yellow journalism re finds its best, and then and, and like the, we, we'd see in Dil Show Shrestha, people of of that magnitude like brought down from these little stories that 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 come from no content at all. Well, sad to hear about that, and I hope the misconception is cleared now. It's already been cleared. You've been playing matches, but sadly the team's performance has dropped. Uh, in fact, after the World Cup that we played in Bangladesh. Nepal has lost almost three out of four matches they play. You yourself said that the team was not performing according to its mm -hmm. potential. Uh, what's going on with the team? Uh, basically, see, since the World Cup, uh, I think we have uh, had a lot of expectations from a lot of people. Right. I think uh, people from all over the world and as well as people from mm -hmm. Nepal itself, I think a lot of people want us to win every game that we play. Uh, we are putting all the hard work that's needed, but then right now we are in this level where, you know, we got to like win every game and like we're in division one right now and division one is a uh, I mean, it, it's that level of cricket where you know we're just one level below the test playing countries right. you like, can't afford to go wrong yeah right. and and like looking at the system and the structure like it's it's not only now like mm -hmm. i've been like saying this not only me i mean even players and past captains before me we've been saying this for us to do well at international level mm -hmm. we really need a very very strong domestic foundation and domestic cricket right, structure and uh -huh. unfortunately we have been exposed at this level and like results wise, of course, things haven't gone well for us, mm -hmm. but then commitment wise, dedication wise, I'm sure the players have given whatever like we could have afforded at right. that point of time. It's still like as long as we are playing and right now, even the current team, like it's a very, very talented team. But unfortunately, when results don't go, there are a lot of question marks. Right. So, I mean, for us, I think for us, we really need to go out there, work harder mm -hmm. because this is the first and the highest level that Nepal cricket has ever reached. Right. So that way, I mean, as a team, I, I'd say we still haven't played the best of what we can. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, but I mean, but are you confident that Nepal's putting up a good show, and and it's it's not just of the players to where the result of the match turns out to? No, no. I mean, see, the, it's basically our responsibility on the field. <laughs> so, so you I are willing we to take, take that. We take right. the responsibility. Right. Like we won't mm -hmm. blame it on mm -hmm. anybody else. Right. Saying like you know, mm -hmm. because the system that we have in our right. country has always been the same. So like you just can't blame the system. Right. All of a sudden you start losing uh -huh. because even when we won, we have had we have raised the same issues, and right. even right now we're raising the same mm -hmm. issues. 
So, what's up with Cricket Association of Nepal? Can some Kiladi or Ruku, some on the Chisi de Gako to Bishop of Potari, Pavana Gimiriji Aunuvo, Cricket Association Nepal, CEO Kuru. Have things changed after that? Is is she given the workspace that she requires? And and can we credit her to to all of the recent matches that Nepal is playing with? Be it like the the tribute to Philip Hughes match or or the match he played against Pakistani's team. Uh, can we give the credit to Cricket Association of Nepal a little bit here? I think the credit has to go to the association, of course, for having hired her. First right. of all, I think the people. Uh, I think the officials from ICC and ACC came over and you know like after a roundabout I think uh, they did a survey or something mm -hmm. they did some test and right. she was selected after that mm -hmm. and then afterwards like I think she's managed to do a decent job I would say because in spite of having no authority like rights right I mean, she does she is just like an officer in Cricket mm -hmm. Association Nepal where I mean but she is supposed to have authority rights but then right. Unfortunately, she everything that she says uh, she wants to you know put into action has to be passed by the board. Of course. So basically, I mean, it was the Philip Hughes in like uh, whatever mm -hmm. event that happened here, uh, she has managed to uh, I mean create very good relations right. with the ICC. The uh, the Australian Cricket Board exactly. president was here exactly. right immediately after hosting the, a World Cup. Yeah, the MCC team just came like a right. couple of weeks uh -huh. ago, and I think Nepal Telecom like we have managed to do, like, right. sign that deal mm -hmm. as well. So. Uh, she has uh, tr tried to do the best of what she can. So I mean, but then I mean, it's she is part of the cricket association of Nepal. We are part of can. I mean, we just who can't creates say the obstacles inside cricket association of Nepal? Who creates the hindrances I, for I for cricket's growth to like, like mm -hmm. be able to move forward? I mean, the, the, we this is this is like even if we we can't like discuss the details of it. This is understood by all Nepali cricket fans that the cricket association of Nepal is not doing justice. To cricketing infrastructure as a whole, so I mean, it's, could you give us like what happens inside there, like 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 a glimpse of what goes around inside Cricket Association of Nepal and and where all the obstacles come out of? I myself would love to know what, <laughs> what really happens inside Cricket Association, but I think see, it's all about taking responsibilities. Um, um, if you ask me personally, like leaving everything aside, let's if I put myself as a cricket fan, you know, I think I just want like our local resources and local infrastructure to develop. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, I don't know, I think nine regions now and with right. the departmental teams almost we have 11 teams. Mm -hmm. And I think all regions are being represented by one of the heads of the region. So for every regional head, all I would say is <coughs> go back to your roots mm -hmm. and make sure you develop your region. I think the most important thing is all of a sudden if everybody comes and wants to develop Nepal right. cricket, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. If individually everybody like, you know, I mean, concentrates on their particular region, right. develops the local cricket there, the club cricket, the regional cricket, the district level cricket, I mean, basically that's going to feed off to the national system. It is, it is. And, and like what happens is, uh, I mean, in Cricket Association of Nepal, you just can't like, I mean, go about doing things how we used to do back in early 90s right, or 2000s. I mean, we have come back a long, long way. Uh, you're looking at infrastructure, like even the Mulpani ground, you know, it's almost like eight, nine like years. Yeah, we've, we've for us, I mean, years. I believe that uh, I think my career might be over by the time <laughs> by the ground gets yeah, ready. Yeah. But then still, I mean, like everything aside, I think we need to be optimistic. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to get things done. Uh, Does the government recognize this though? Uh, you're talking about improving cricket from the domestic level itself, like from, from independent regions. Does does the ministry or the Nepal Sports Council are they up to date with with the terms and conditions that cricket today requires? They want to help Nepal cricket for sure. I think push the World Cup. Uh, the government uh, and like other other even the corporate sectors have become very very positive and they want to help Nepal cricket grow. But then it's about we putting our system into place because I mean in the end it's Cricket Association of Nepal that runs the show here. Right, of course. And like as as uh, administrators, I mean. It's, I mean, their responsibility, I would say our responsibility as players to do well on the field. But then I think we should have a vision as to like, I think we have always restricted ourselves to just winning and losing. Right. Like, okay, if the team wins a certain tournament, everybody is happy. Thousands right. of fans right, of course. in the airport, uh -huh. you know, to support <laughs> greed you see on social media, televisions, yeah. media covering up front pages, mm -hmm. headlines. Then when you lose, then it's the same thing backwards. But then beyond that, I, I still feel the domestic cricket, the structure that we need, mm -hmm. We still don't have it. Uh, it's still next to nothing. Like the tournament that we still used to select players back in 2000 and back in 2015 right. is still the same. Is, is there planning though? Is there no yeah. planning at all, or is there some kind of planning that is like initiated by Cricket Association of Nepal? I think more than lack of planning, it's lack of application. I would say. So, do you think like the right person does not get to Cricket Association of Nepal, 
or, 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 or the people who would understand the magnitude of the cricketing situation in the country. The, well, I mean, putting this in, in straight words, do you think like the members of Cricket Association of Nepal should be there? See, I mean, it could be, anybody could be in any position, but mm -hmm. then it's about getting things done. I mean, you, you're sitting here right now, you know, you're doing a job. If you're not capable enough, right. I don't think you should be hosting this or, you know, be a part of right. this system. Mm -hmm. So even for Cricket Association of Nepal and all these members, as long as you are part of a mm -hmm. system where, you know, the whole country is looking into now. Right. And we have, I, I would say after the World Cup, the fan following has reached to another level. So everybody in Nepal right now wants to know what the Nepal cricket team is doing, what the players are doing. And basically, I think uh, it's come up, come up a bit of a, I don't know, I would say a bigger responsibility which, uh, which administrators have not been able to handle in the right way. But then still, I wouldn't say they are incapable, but I mean, it's about getting your priorities straight. I mean, if you want to run cricket the way it was done back in the days, I don't think cricket is going to grow any further. We need to follow certain new set of rules. We need to like, okay set plans as to how to go about in the next year, couple of years, next five years, ten years. And that's how you grow. I mean, you can't have a short-term goal where, you know, like, we basically don't know, like, what's our schedule for the next month, like, right. this mm -hmm. December. So, we have no idea as to what we're going to do for the next month. So, imagine if the national team is facing this, right. the club level, the regional players have absolutely no idea as to how to, you know, make a pathway as, as to how to get into a team. That's so, a sad situation yeah. that we are yeah. at. And so, you're telling me that the Cricket Association of Nepal does not develop even 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 a work plan for the national cricket team here, like let alone how how domestic cricket could be treated or improved. Uh, so well, there's there there are very few hopes with the association and Nepali fans. I, I suppose realize that. So that is why all the hopes are always on the team. What's what's what are our let's talk about the team. What are our strengths? What are our weaknesses? Uh, the most common of weakness that Nepali cricket fans complain about is is our our we can't accelerate. We can't. Power hitting seems to be one of our one of our drawbacks. Uh, do you agree? Uh, of course, yes. Uh, I wouldn't disagree to that. Uh, I mean, like I said, we we've just been exposed to everything all of a sudden. Right. Last three years, I would say uh, cricket has taken another step in fan following. Mm -hmm. The players have, you know, gradually, I mean, stepped up to what they were before. Uh, they have started to improve for sure. But then we, st I mean, we watch the IPL. You know, mm -hmm. we watch right. the Bangladesh Premier League that's going on right, right. now. We watch Test matches in Australia, England, and we expect our players to do the same. Yes. And basically, the players that we have right now have come through like watching cricket. Like I learned cricket by watching cricket on TV and just mm. picking up things from them. Not only me, I think every player that has represented <laughs> Nepal so far right. has just come through a system where you know they have done it on their own mm -hmm. with the help of certain regional coaches at certain levels of right. time. But then we still don't have that feedback or a, mm. a factory-like system where you know it, it should be like a system where it keeps on producing cricketers and players year after year. Um, like I said, I mean, for us to do better in future, it's very, very important that we start now. And more than putting the blame game, because every time I come to a you know, TV show or a radio show or interview, right. like the next thing that follows is, a, is the controversial aspect. Mm -hmm. I feel like, okay, now the, now I am against SCAN, I'm speaking against right. SCAN. Basically, I am, I've never spoken against a certain group. for the good of cricket. Yeah, exactly. I've never spoken in favor or against any group of people or against cricketers. I've just said, me being a representative of the players and as a captain, right. I'm just saying like, Cricket, for cricket to grow in this country, we have to like manage this in a much better way than what we are doing right now. And that basically turns out to be exactly opposite where people say, you know, now <laughs> all of a sudden I'm part of this group and, you know, I'm right. supporting this right. group and against this group. So, I mean, it's sad, but then see, like even for me, my responsibility should be on the field. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's not my thing to do what administration does or what I mean, but then Having said that, uh, if we as players, even if we don't raise the voice, then who's going to raise the issues? Exactly, exactly. You're the closest to be able to know and to be able to tell. What's the relationship with the Cricket Association of Nepal members, uh, with, with the players? Is, is, has it improved? Like, I mean, it, it has never been bad. Like, whenever, like, during, like, farewells and, you know, we meet right. them and during, like, grounds, some of them come to the grounds when we are training and all that. I don't think there's issues like as to say, you know, okay, okay like I really uh -huh. want to uh -huh. like pinpoint this person right. is, right. you know, so bad. There's no tension like, I mean, no, there's no tension, but then I think we haven't, the communication gap is there for sure. Right. I think we haven't been able to walk in the same way. I think it's very, very important because, I mean, like I said, we are CAN. We as players represent right. CAN, right? right? CAN is cricket association, whether mm -hmm. Paras is there or Ganendra is right. there or, you know, Sompal is there or not. Cricket association Nepal has always been there, will always be there. Mm -hmm. But then it's about now we've come to a level where, you know, we cannot take things for granted. And we, as players, we've understood because we played 
Now, what in the WCL we played four matches. Right. Out of four matches, we lost three very very close matches, which exactly. could have exactly. gone easily in our way. But right. then, if you look at the other teams, all other teams are equally prepared. Exactly. And if we had won all those three matches, maybe things would have turned out differently. And you know, interview wise. Uh, like media exactly. wise things right. that are put you know right. Nepal team is still doing been well congratulating yeah, I've, you, yeah, I've right always said this like even when after qualifying for the World Cup I said like the same thing that I'm saying now we need to put a system in place because uh -huh. we cannot have it like a festival like exactly so if you have to love cricket we have to love it consistently and we have to like get in developing it consistently. That's not my words, the man of your hero, our hero, the nation's hero, Paras Khatka here with us on Huawei Namaste TV show. Time for the first commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.